Hello and uh, welcome back. If you have, uh, if you've you've listened to one of my videos before, and um, and hello, and uh, my name's Peter Ritchie. I'm uh, the uh, founder of Yakadanda Inc. We build functional medicine websites. Blah 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 blah. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about your Google My Business listing. Okay, um, and the and this is going to be part of a series because. Um, I've, I've done a few videos before on Google My Business, GMB, and um, it ch it's changed so much in the, I think it's been a year and a half, 18 months since I did a video and an article on Google My Business. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from start to finish, from go to woe um, on the Google My Business listing, and hopefully I can give you some uh, little hints and advice. It, this is directed towards functional medicine practitioners, but it pretty much can work for any business. So. First things first, do you need a, a Google My Business listing? Well, the answer is 100% yes if you have a brick and mortar business. Where that means a business where people come to you, into your business. If you have an office, like for me, from an office from home um, or from uh, from a uh, from a, um, a sort of uh, like if you at WeWork or somewhere like that, well, then maybe not. I mean, even WeWork, you can get an address and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, you're a little bit tired there. So. Um, if you have a brick and mortar business, and I'm talking to functional medicine, medical practitioners, dentists, et cetera, et cetera, um, then you definitely do need one. And just like anything, if, if I said to a potential client, I was speaking to a client yesterday, and I, and, and I said, oh, do you have a blog? And they said, yes. Yeah, well, they had a blog, but the blog just sat there, and I think the last post was 2017. So no, you don't have a blog. So the same with Google My Business. If you have a Google My Business listing, I would suggest at least once per week logging in and doing something in there, creating something, etc. Um, so your Google My Business listing, um, do you need one? 100% yes, especially if you've got a, 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 a business that where people go to, where actually they physically walk to, drive to, park, you know, uh, see you at your practice type thing. Um, if you ha if you work from home, I still think you need one, but the impact is not as great. It's still it's, I still think 100% you need one, but the impact is not as great as if you do have a brick and mortar. So let's have a look at this is an overview of, of uh, the Google My Business listing. Um, and the, what's so important about Google My Business GMB is the fact that you have a um, it's a local SEO type thing. Okay, so the more local information you have in your blog posts, your uh, your your newsletters, your social media, the more local SEO you're going to produce, uh, the the better the benefits going to be for you. Okay, so this is primarily a local SEO strategy, um, but having a Google My Business listing really important. So how would it work? How, how do you sign up? Well, it's quite simple. You go to business.google.com, and if you're already logged into your Google account, you'll just start from there. Um, if you've got a Gmail account or a G Suite, which is a like, like a branded account, like yakapeter at yakadanda.com. Um, so you will go there and you'll go through the sign up process, putting in your local at your, your address, because what's going to happen is Google's going to send you a postcard. If you're not in the directory already, they're going to send you a postcard with a verification code to prove that that's the address that you're at. Okay. And then once you've proven that, you'll get like a four digit code. Uh, I think it's a four digit code still. And you put that in to verify your address. So they send you a postcard, you read the postcard, you don't throw it away, you um, get the, the, the security, the code in it. Only you can add it because it's the codes tied to your Gmail account uh, or G Suite account, and then you go from there. Okay, and then once you're verified, within a day or two, you'll be up live on Google. Now, the local SEO strategy is obviously putting local content. So if you're in Miami, you would be writing about, you know, I I, I was with a client. She went uh, from Miami. She went to Miami Beach Primary School. The kids go to Miami Beach Primary School. All of this is local SEO. Um, and so tying all that data in, you know, uh, North Miami Beach, Sunset, whatever, Sunset Island, whatever, Fisher Island, all those sort of things are local SEO. They all, they all matter and they get picked up by Google. So let's go and have a look at what a search looks like with Google My Business. So here I've searched for functional medicine practitioner Miami. Okay, as soon as you, as soon as someone puts the search in with a location data like Miami, 
Fisher Island, Bayside, um, Jungle Jungle Island, Miami Beach, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, New York, London, Tokyo, whatever the suburb is. As soon as they put that information in, doctor, plumber, uh, you know, a builder, carpenter, fitter, fixer, whatever, it, the maps will appear. And that's the first thing that people see on their mobile phones. Maybe ads are, will appear higher than that, but mobile phone, etc. You know, I can see there's already one of my clients here right now. Um, so, you know, by having um, your business locally tied, the better chance you have of getting found in uh, uh, on Google search. And that's that's everything. So as an example, if, if the average customer or patient to you is worth two, three, five thousand dollars a year and you can pick up 10 new clients because you Google business strategy, that's fifty thousand dollars a year. Nothing to be sneezed at. 20, 50, 100 clients. This is where most of the people are going and they're looking at your data. OK, so number one, get your Google business listing. Number two, put the content in there and we'll go through all of that. In, in, in coming episodes, but this is just an overview. So again, why is it important? So let's go and have a look at functional medicine practitioners in Miami Beach. So let's go and have a look at, you know, Miami marijuana doctor, okay? So you can see these ones here, they've taken care of, they're taking care of business. 94 reviews. I mean, they might even have a negative review. Let's go and have a look at their reviews. They, might, they may even have uh, some, some negative. No, it's everything, 100%. 94 five-star reviews. This person is doing business on Google My Business, okay? that the, the, They're impressive. They're not a client of mine, but I'm very impressed. 94, for anything above 50 reviews, if you've been in business for a while, five-star reviews, fantastic. So let's look at one that's got a bit of it. So you think about somebody who's looking for a business. This business here is going to get the goods. They're going to do, do well out of it because they're clever. Okay, and they've more than likely got a strategy for it. So let's look at someone who's not doing so well. So let's look at, you know, one of these two. Click at mar mar marijuana, my, you know, they've got 15 reviews. And so they've obviously got a negative review. So they've got out of out of all of that, they've, because they've only got 15 reviews and they've got one one star review. This is from quite a while ago I imagine but this person's written quite a few reviews so they're not probably just a negative but well they've got two two one star three one star reviews four one star reviews so that's why they're nobody this this company is losing business because of that okay and the other part of it is they're not replying okay if you get a five star reviews bang straight away reply thank you so much for you if you get a one star review you say look I'd love to sort this out with you. Give our office a call and let's try and rectify this. Be really, be overly brilliant, brilliantly uh, calm and professional in your response. Okay, so you know this. These sort of reviews are, you know, um, they that This is this is costing this business tens of thousands of dollars a year. So even if you get a negative review, be a hundred percent professional. As if reading it yourself, you go, geez, that's a really good reply. Now, because they've got three negative reviews, it's going to impact their business quite significantly. Okay. Um, however, the the likelihood of you getting a bad review is fairly high. If you've been business long enough, you're never going to be able to satisfy everybody. But the important thing is to have a strategy around that. And we're going to talk about that later on uh, in, in some of the coming episodes. But I want to keep each of these videos under 10 minutes, so I'm going to sort of close it up now. But it's really important that that what I was saying before is you not only get make sure you um, take care of uh, you know create a business listing, but you take care of it, and that's having a strategy. Don't just say yes, I'm going to do it because that strategy always fails. The strategy that's always succeeds is having a system in place. Okay, we get a review. What's the process for us to reply to review? What's the process for a negative review? What's the process for getting reviews? Okay, so we're going to go into detail through every facet of your Google My Business listing from posts to info, insights, reviews, messaging, photos, products, services, your website, if you want to create a little mini website on there. But anyway, I wanted to keep it under 10 minutes and I've done it. So go to uh, business.google.com and register a review. Thank you very much.